So let's look at this problem. We have money that's invested into an account that earns 6% interest that is compounded continuously. And we want to know how long will it take to double an investment of $8,000. Now, I gave you $8,000, but what you're going to find out is that it doesn't matter how much you invest, whether you invest $8,000 or $8 million in this account, the, the amount of time it takes to double is going to be exactly the same. You're probably going, well, how, how can that be? Let's check this out. If we go back to our tried and true formula for interest, for continuous compounding, excuse me, uh, A is equal to P times E raised to the RT. Okay? Now, if I want to double an investment of 8,000, that means that I am investing 8,000. And to double that, that means I want a final value of $16,000. I've got my E, and then I've got my rate, which is 0 0.06, and I'm trying to find my value of T. I'm trying to find my time, right? Well, just like we saw in the last problem, before we can apply logs on both sides, we really need to get rid of this coefficient. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 8,000. And when I do that, hopefully to no one's surprise, 16,000 divided by 8,000 is just 2. And then we have e to the 0 0.062. And this goes back to what I was saying. Whether you invest 8,000 or 8 million, the time is going to be the same. Because if this had been 8 million instead, then to double that would be ending up at 16 million. And when you look at that ratio, because you have to divide 16 million by 8 million, you would also come up with the number 2. So that's important to us. Okay. Now we need to find out what t is, but since t is in the power, this is where you take the log of both sides so you can bring that power out in front. So let's take the natural log of both sides here. So this is just the natural log of 2 equals 0.06t. Right? And now for us to find t, we divide both sides by 0.06. 0.06, just like that. All right, so that's the exact value, natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.06. So that means that our t value is approximately, let's see what we have here, natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.06. So we get that time is about 11.55 years. All right. So, how long do you think it would take to triple? Okay. Well, here's the funny thing about that: is that the setup is going to be exactly the same as what we have here, except we're not going to be ending at sixteen thousand; we'd be ending at twenty-four thousand. So, you want to end at twenty-four thousand after an initial investment of eight thousand with a rate of point zero. Six, And so again, t is that variable is the guy that we're trying to solve for, right? So we divide both sides by 8,000. And again, I want you to see how similar this is to us finding the doubling time. Steps are going to be the same, except since I'm trying to find the time it takes to triple, look what happens here. This ratio of the final amount to the initial amount, 24,000 to 8,000, is 3. So when we were trying to find how long does it take to double our investment, we ended up with a 2. To triple, we ended up with a 3. Hmm. And now we take the natural log of both sides. All right, so we have the natural log of 3 is equal to 0 0.06t. Dividing both sides by that coefficient. And now we can say that t is approximately, well, you know it's got to be more than 11.55 years, right? All right, so let's see. We've got the natural log of 3 divided by 0 0.06. All right, so it takes 18.31 years. 
And here's the thing I do need you guys to understand. We're trying to find the time it took to double, but it didn't matter how much I started with because the ratio was always going to end up being a two over here. Same thing for tripling. Whether I started with 8,000 or 8 million, the time it takes to grow that initial investment to a factor of three to be three times as much as what you had in there to start, you're going to end up with a three there, right? And so what this does for us is that you end up with this neat little scenario. So for doubling time, okay, so for doubling time, you're always going to end up with something that says this, that 2 is equal to e to the kt, whatever, I don't know what the rate is, I don't know what the time is, but you're going to end up with a scenario like this. So that when you take the natural log of both sides, okay, you end up with the natural log of 2 is equal to k times t. And you basically have a formula here. And you can go one of two ways. It really depends on what you need, right? If the question is asking for uh, what's the rate, like what's the k, we had something similar to that in the last problem. If you want to find k, to find k, you would take the natural log of 2 and divide that by t. So if you know how long it takes for something to double, you throw it into this formula and that's going to give you the rate and you can use that for anything else. Or if you want to know the time it takes to double and you already know the rate, you do the natural log of 2 divided by k. And the really cool thing about this is that it works the same as if you're trying to do triple time. Uh, the only thing different here is that instead of having a 2, you would have a three, right? So if we use this information, okay, let's answer this next very, very quick question. So suppose you have 3.7% interest and this is compounded continuously. Because that, that matches with our the form here, right? Continuous compounding. Right? So here's the question. The question is how long would it take to double your investment? Or how long would it take to triple? And these are very simple questions because we already have the K, we have the rate. Now we can use this formula right here for doubling. So for doubling, the time is the natural log of 2 divided by your rate. You've got to make sure you convert this to a decimal correctly. So that's 0 0.037. If I want to triple, to find the tripling time, that means my time would be the natural log of 3 now divided by that same out about that same rate, right? And so we can just go to our graphing calculator and type these values in. So the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.037. So this is going to take us about 18.73 years. And if I want to do the tripling time, the natural log of 3 divided by 0 0.037 and that's going to be about 29.69 years. Okay, It's just as easy as that. Knowing this little relationship here, if you're going to be doubling something, how long does it take to double? Natural log of 2 equals k times t. If you know the rate, quickly find the time. If you know the time, you can quickly find the rate. So let's see how this applies in some uh, problems in the next video.